my name is John Abella, and uh, I live just outside of Philadelphia. I run the uh, 3D Printer Village at World Maker Fair New York. Uh, I got started in 3D printing in 2009, 2010, uh, through early you know, build-it-yourself 3D printing kits. Uh, I, I moved into the you know, RepRap open source uh, uh, printing for a little bit, and uh, just been going at it ever since. So my day-to-day -day involvement, uh, other than being you know a, a user and an enthusiast, I, do, I teach teach uh, classes on how to uh, assemble your own printer. So we do two-day uh, workshops just outside of Philadelphia. I built dozens at this point. Uh, you know, probably probably you know more than fifty or sixty at this point uh, between workshops and helping people and Maker Faire and things like that. I think uh, one of the you know especially having done this a couple of years now, I think one of the one of the trends that's continuing. The last few years is that everybody's documentation has gotten much, much better. Um, you know, machines that never used to come with anything now are coming with nice color printed manuals that are very, very detailed. Uh, and I think, you know, as far as new users go, that's going to be that's the intro. I mean, you open that box, and is there something in there? And some of the machines, you open the box, and they had nothing in there. Um, so that's that's been one area that's been a huge, a huge improvement. I think the idea of a plug and play printer is, is getting much closer. Uh, we're not quite there yet this year. I think that next year we're probably going to have one where we don't don't actually need to use the laptop at all. We'll either be able to print right from an iPad or print from a USB without without any you know, sort of injury.